Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts, the window and door expert, and I'm here in our beautiful showroom today where we have over a dozen brands of windows and doors to choose from. And today we're going to talk about the three P's of buying windows. And by the way, I've got a bonus P, the fourth P, so you're going to want to stick around for that one at the very end. I think you're going to like it. Okay, so the first P of buying windows is product. You have to select a product. If you look here around me, I see Windsor, I see Marvin. You've probably heard of Pella, right? Pella, based out of Iowa, they're a great company. Um, Amsco, Anlin, oh gosh, which window should I buy, right? That's the first challenge, that's the first question you have. Well, it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> In fact, that might be the hardest part because you know what? I found that they say over 83% of people who drop out of the window buying process, they drop out of it because of confusion. They have the guy who comes out and says Pella is better than Anderson, and then the Anderson guy comes out and says, no, Anderson's better than Pella. Then there's a guy who says, oh, my gas, argon gas, is better than the other guy's argon gas. And next thing you know, you're really confused, and it's just crazy. Well, don't get hung up on that. I think you should always take your time when it comes to product, because think about this. The company who does the installation and the procedures and the things that they do and all of that is going to be important, but you're going to be stuck with this product for a very long time. I like to think about haircuts, right? Imagine if you had a bad haircut. Oh, you could wear a cap and you'd hide and you'd cry for a month, but then your hair grows back. Well, that's not what happens when you buy the wrong window. So you've got to pick the right window. So you say, well, Jeff, how do I pick the right window? Well, one of the things that I see people make a big mistake on is they either spend way too much money on a window because they pick this really window that's supposed to like do everything, lots of bells and whistles, or they spend way too little money on a window and then they end up with a piece of junk. If you watch some of my videos, and I'm going to put a link down here below, about the top five mistakes people make when buying windows, I think that's really going to help you a lot. So that's the first P, is the product. You've got to find a product you like, and a, a really a great product. The second P is the process, right? Because now that you have a window, somebody has to install it. I think about it all the time like this. If I went to the store and I bought a steak, and I went home and grilled it, right? That's probably pretty good. But the same steak done by a professional chef, in Las Vegas, like uh, Michael Mina, for example. Oh my gosh, why does his steak taste so much better than mine? If, even if it was the same steak, it's because of his process, right? So process is the second P. Now, I wanna show you a few things that we do in our process that I think are unique to us, and there's very few window companies that do this. The first one is this blue film right here. You say, what's that for, Jeff? Well, actually, we apply this to the window before we start taking the glass out, because glass tends to break when you take it out. And the last thing we want is glass shards all over the floor, right? I tell people all the time, if you have a puppy, or if you have a pool, or if you have a, you know, a little child, they're going to find that glass when they're walking around barefooted. Can you imagine being in your pool and you cut your foot because somebody taking out your window did not protect the glass from getting everywhere? This does that. Now it takes a little extra time and it costs a little extra money, but it's really one of the steps that make the process even better. The second thing I like to talk about is shims, you know, because we use shims in those windows. And this is a composite shim. This shim is not made out of wood. So even if somehow water got back behind your window someday, you're not going to experience rot with this because it's not made out of wood. So that's nice to have that. Another thing we like to use is flashing tape. We actually apply this flashing tape to our window so that water doesn't ever get in behind that window. Because think about this, when you take out your original window, which was attached to the house at the beginning when it was built, now you've actually destroyed that seal that you had between your window and your house. So you want to reseal it again with this flashing. And I've got a good video on how to install a leak-proof window. I'll put a link to that down below. That'll help you as well. And then of course, once you've done that, then you want to seal it. And before you seal it with caulking, we actually like to inject this foam. This is made by OSI, it's called Quad Foam. It actually injects an in area. It's a low expansion, closed cell foam. The reason it's closed cell is it's real smooth once it cures. If water ever were to hit it, it doesn't absorb that water, it doesn't hold it, it doesn't start to build like mildew and mold and things behind your wall. So that's real important. But also, this creates like a donut all the way around, an insulating donut to help restore that seal that has been broken between the house and the window so that now you have a really good seal. What else does it do? Oh gosh, it keeps sound out, it helps reduce the amount of air infiltration, uh, bugs, dust, dirt, you know, a lot of things that can normally come in around that window if it wasn't sealed properly. So that's really important for you to have as well. And then of course, frosting on the cake, right? Uh, this is OSI Quad. This is the product that we put in there to your house, it's Quad Max, to actually uh, put caulking around it. Now this is just really to make it beautiful because this has done all the work. All these other things actually did the work of keeping the water out and this makes it look nice when we're done. It makes that transition between the house and the window frame look ah, just perfect. Now one more thing I'm going to mention is when you are also looking about the process here um, and who's doing what, 
is like you should ask questions like, how are you going to protect my floors? And like, here's an example. We like these cover grips. It's a safety drop cloth. And you know, you can see how we label them up, right? So that way we put it, always put it up. So if we move it from room to room, we always have this side up, just in case a little bit of glass got around that blue tape, we're not gonna actually flip this over accidentally in the next room and end up scratching your floor with glass. So that's real important. But you should also ask questions like, who's gonna take the blinds down? Who's gonna put the blinds up, you know? Uh, what time will you guys arrive? What am I responsible for? Do I have to move furniture? Are you gonna cover my furniture? Those are all part of this P, the second P. You, know, you get a good product you gotta get a good process. And then part of the process too is supervision. Like we have a crew leader who is actually over all of our crews and he's been trained, he's really good, he's certified at what he does, but we don't just stop there. We actually have a quality assurance manager who supervises their work and we have quality assurance managers all over town that drop in on the different projects, they look at how things are going, they're making sure that our guys are being consistent to the brand promise that we made to you to treat your home with honesty and with dignity and with respect. And these are important things to us. So if they're gonna sell your job to a, so a subcontractor to, to install, that's different than if you have an in-house team that's actually doing all the work and they're being supervised and the supervisors have supervisors because ultimately, right, you're the boss and we are the ones who have to answer to you. So that's the second P. Now here's the third P. Third P is the people. And I kind of hit on the people, right? Like who's doing the work, but I mean, I mean the people, like what's the DNA of this company? What do they believe? Why do they exist? What do they stand for? You know, like one of the reasons I started this company was I realized that there was a need for a company like ours that actually treated people the way they should be treated. I, I guess I'm old fashioned, you know, I like that rule that says the golden rule, right? Do unto others the way you'd have them do unto you, which in modern English means treat people the, the way you want to be treated. And, uh, and I could see where a lot of window companies and, and like siding people and roofing people, not all of them, but there are some that are like, man, they're like, they're kind of like snaky and they're slippery and they're, ooh, just gives me a bad feeling. I, I made a video about how to avoid some of their tactics and I'll put it down below. But Treat people the way you want to be treated. That's kind of important to me. And what I want, if you bought windows from me, for example, would be that this would be the most delightful home improvement experience you've ever had. So don't just think about a product. Oh, I love that product, but I hate that company. They were slow to respond. I filled out a contact form. It took them two days to call me back. I texted them. They won't text me back. I mean, if the, if the person who's supposed to be at your house at 9 o'clock for your appointment shows up at 9.30, that can happen. But if they show up at 9.30 and they never called or something, what does that tell you about? their company, about their DNA, about how they're gonna treat you later down the road. Because if you have a problem with a window, right? Because windows can have problems, then there's a possibility that you're gonna to have to deal with those people for a long time and you wanna make sure you're dealing with the right people. So the first P was product, second P was process, third P was people, and you said, Jeff, I stuck around for the fourth P. What is it? Come on, give it to me. <laughs> it's price, price. How do I find a good, fair price for my windows? Well, it's really a combination of all three of those things. You know, like, have you heard that saying that you want, do you want it fast or do you want it cheap uh, or do you want it good, but you can't have all three? So you can't say, I want a great window and I want a great installer and I want a great company. Oh, and by the way, I want it cheap because I don't care if they make any money or not. Look, if it's not good for you, it's not good for them. If it's not good for them, it's not good for you. So it's not about how much should a window cost. It's more about what's a fair, affordable price for this entire process. And so you say, Jeff, well, how do I know what a fair price is? Well, there's a lot of things you can do to find out what a fair price is. And yes, I know I'm promoting a lot of my videos, but because I think you need this one, you should go down below and check out the one I have about how much do windows cost, and we'll get into that. But as an overall overarching 30,000 foot view, you might find that one window company costs more than another, and the thing you need to investigate is, is it because of their product? Is it because of their process? Is it because of their people? Is that what's making this price the price it is? That's what you need to figure out. If they're gouging you on the window and they're giving you terrible service, dude, you got ripped off. If you're getting a good triangular balance of all three things, then you've done well. Hey, I hope this has been fun. I've enjoyed it. If you live in Houston, I'd sure love to shake your hand, love to meet you. Come in, browse, take a look at our windows and our doors. If you don't live in Houston and you're looking for a great window company near you, I get that question so often, we actually created a website for it. It's called Jeff's List. Dot com. Go check it out. Maybe I know somebody near you. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and also please smash that like button because this video gets shared with more people, which means that our channel will grow and we appreciate you subscribing and watching. Thanks. Have a great day. I'll talk to you again real soon.